Okay zillionaires, thanks for coming to another one of my video. Third one in three days, wow. Things are warming up in the crypto market. This is the video I did about Elon. We call him that, the A-hole, Elon, for manipulating crypto markets. Anyhow, the markets are pulling back a little bit this morning. Zillica's up, which is my main holding, which is all I care about, to be honest. But Bitcoin's moving again. 38 ethereum cardano hopefully dodge will tank because that's the one that a long keeps promoting xrp still struggling but my main one is zillica which that is what my channel's about and that is what i do my videos about but this morning again i've woke up and these guys now because i mentioned weeks ago about the manipulation that elon musk he was doing it for a reason manipulating the crypto markets you know the video i did yesterday mentioned about investors in tesla that he was deliberately crashing the market so they could buy bitcoin cheap and he was also promoting dogecoin which is with arc investments so now this morning it's come out that anonymous are looking for elon musk so elon maybe he is getting slaughtered on twitter he is getting slaughtered all over the internet for manipulating the markets for tesla investment investors benefit so i've got the video here for anonymous so hang on and take a look at this Greetings citizens of the world. This is a message from Anonymous, for Elon Musk. For the past several years you have enjoyed one of the most favorable reputations of anyone in the billionaire class, because you have tapped into the desire that many of us have to live in a world with electric cars and space exploration, but recently your carefully created public image is being exposed, and people are beginning to see you as nothing more than another narcissistic rich dude who is desperate for attention. It appears that your quest to save the world is more rooted in a superiority and savior complex than it is in actual concern for humanity. This has been obvious to your employees for a long time, who have faced intolerable conditions under your command for years. It is also obvious to the young children working in your overseas lithium mines, which are destroying the local environment as well. You have been open about your willingness to stage coups in order to install dictators in places where your toxic products are being mined. You have even prematurely crowned yourself Emperor of Mars, a place where you will be sending people to die. Your fanboys overlook these issues because they are focused on the potential good that your projects can bring to the world, but you are not the only show in town, and your competition is growing more intense with each passing day. There are plenty of other companies working on space exploration and electric vehicles, you are just the only CEO who has gained a cult following through shitposting and trolling the world on social media. In fact, Many people are now learning that the vast majority of Tesla's income doesn't actually come from selling cars, it comes from government subsidies, selling carbon tax credits for your innovation with clean energy. This technically isn't your innovation though, because you aren't actually the founder of Tesla, you simply purchased the company from two people much more intelligent than you are, Martin Everhard and Mark Tarpenning. Tesla has also made more money holding Bitcoin for a few months than they did in years of selling cars. It is also more than likely that this Bitcoin was purchased with money from these government subsidies. It is now widely believed that you have been forced to denounce your company's involvement with Bitcoin in order to keep that green government money flowing into Tesla's coffers. The energy use argument about proof of work mining is a very nuanced conversation that requires a fairly complex understanding of how power grids work, and how excess energy is wasted by power companies, and sought out by crypto miners. This is a conversation that you have been having for over a year and were intimately aware of, but as soon as your main source of income was threatened you pretended to be clueless in an attempt to play both sides of the fence. Then, your move to create a Bitcoin miner council was rightly seen as an attempt to centralize the industry and take it under your control. Reading from the comments on your Twitter posts, it seems that the games you have played with the crypto markets have destroyed lives. Millions of retail investors were really counting on their crypto gains to improve their lives. 
This is something that you will never understand because you were born into the stolen wealth of a South African apartheid emerald mine and have no clue what struggle is like for most of the working people in the world. Of course, they took the risk upon themselves when they invested, and everyone knows to be prepared for volatility in crypto, but your tweets this week show a clear disregard for the average working person. As hardworking people have their dreams liquidated over your public temper tantrums, you continue to mock them with memes from one of your million dollar mansions. You may think you are the smartest person in the room, but now you have met your match. We are anonymous. We are legion. Expect us. So, there we go. Anonymous are after Elon Musk. Hopefully, yeah, they will go after also the investors, BlackRock, who are Tesla investors. This, you know, this is why we're thinking he's crashing the market so these can buy in cheap. BlackRock apparently owns, I think, 50 million shares in Tesla. Got ARK Investments as well going into it. So basically, this is what happens. Bitcoin's at 60,000 a coin, $60. Elon crashes it, it goes to nearly 30, well it dropped to 32,000, nearly half price and he's tweeted again this week, the market was pulling back, Bitcoin was going up again, just bouncing off 40,000, Elon throws another tweet out on Twitter, boom, everything drops again, he's, he's doing it on purpose, you know, <coughs> excuse me, like that video I had taken down off YouTube three weeks ago where I said this guy was deliberately manipulating the uh, markets. To me, he's broke. He was doing it on purpose. I don't think anyone believed me at the time, but I can say on that video, he was worth 166 billion. So he has lost 20 billion in three weeks because his Tesla share stocks yesterday were dropping everybody's going on to him now so elon's getting what's due to him you know i think i saw figures yesterday that over a hundred million people have got investments in bitcoin that's without all the other altcoins hundreds of them thousands of them altcoins and he's deliberately wrecking people's portfolios costing them thousands tens of thousands you know, and hopefully if, if it does come out that these are all connected and you've got to remember if you were a financial advisor doing this on the stock exchange, you would be in jail. That is what he is doing. So well done to Anonymous. I made up there on his case. I've always been a supporter because I've always been on the blackout forums. You know, I've been on this one for 12 years, I think. Um, so I've always been a supporter of Anonymous. So I'm laughing my head off this morning. Hopefully Elon is going to get what he deserves. And hopefully now the crypto markets can start stop being manipulated and, and move forward in a proper manner, the way it should do up and down. Everyone expects this, but you don't expect market manipulation just so he can make money and the other money man can make money. So well done to Anonymous, I am so happy, you know, and I'm happy that Zill now is on the move again and the crypto markets. So, there we go, that's all I've got guys, and I'll keep you updated on what's going on with Elon. Thanks for watching, enjoy your weekend.